Welcome back to Construction Simulator in Europe. We are busy doing this uh, plaza job, public square job in the Prestige Projects campaign. Uh, the campaign is nearly uh, complete. Uh, over here on the left hand side, we've done all these ones and hopefully today we're going to finish off the uh, public square. Uh, there's about a lot of uh, craning to do, a bit of uh, concrete work at the back. So let's, uh, let's start off with the craning. Actually, you know what? No, we'll start off with the concreting so then the uh, the pillars won't be in the way. I'm going to try to do a sneaky uh, drive-by here. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. I, I'm avoiding a, the need to get a, um, a truck in here, a, a pump. So let's see if we can... Uh, actually, I don't think we can uh, get too close, but we can uh, definitely try to get some of this done. Uh, so we can drive around here. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that can go away. Turning circle on this is terrible. Hopefully we can... No, I think it's going to be designed so that you can't uh, just drive a trunk, a track on it. And in fact, we even got it beached. Alright, so let's just do a reset. We're going to have to get out the... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to get out a concrete mixer, a uh, concrete pump. So let's uh, get the truck coming through. Yeah, the turning circle, this is terrible. So that, let's get a... Uh, the concrete mixer out of or concrete pump out of storage. We'll have to uh, fast travel it to the site. Yeah, I don't like uh, setting up uh, a concrete mixer for literally two minutes worth of work. Let's uh, fix the time of the day. We'll make it noon. Right, get some sunlight going. I think we can put it kind of central here. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Actually, I don't want to be too close actually because the. Uh, uh, it doesn't actually work too well when you try to. Uh, uh, when you try to boom close. So. Turn this around. Yeah, this will be a very quick job, I think. I'm going to move the uh, concrete truck into place. Yeah, we're kind of, it's a very tight site, this one. We've been uh, struggling to get our uh, our crane in the right position and just a straight turning circle type problems uh, uneven ground so it's been a struggle to get cranes to uh, even seat their uh, their, um, their stabilizations down and this will take literally seconds And 
99. 100. Oh, unless we have to do more, okay. So I'm glad that we didn't have to just do uh, that one layer. All right, so that, that makes the uh, non-use of the uh, concrete truck directly uh, definitely worthwhile. Oh, and more, okay. This looks quite deep, so this might use a fair bit of concrete up. Set that. We'll uh, turn the get this out of the way so we can move the truck forward if we need to. Uh, let's use that crane to uh, get these pillars done. does seem to have a lot of stages to it. We're at 42%. Maybe, maybe it is a three episode uh, task. There seems to be lots of small boutique things. more. Props to the developers for putting textures on top of rooftops where 99% of the time you won't see it. Uh, we're going to have to reposition. Actually, are we fully out? No, we're not. To extend the arm, you can see how the the uh, cylinders are getting longer and longer. And lucky last, then I'm assuming we're going to have to put these other ones on top. bars on or something. This is kind of cool. I like, I like uh, doing metal based uh, craning. I think we've got enough height and everything here. It sh shouldn't be a problem. Stay away from uh, stay away from where it's finished, so we'll, you know, we'll work at the far end towards the cell, so we don't have to collide. I'm gonna get my perspective right. I was trying to spin it into place really accurately, but I was struggling to get it right.
Yeah, quite a long boom on this one. Yeah, a lot of left, right, left, right, up, down. How to uh, gauge uh, the height? And those last beans will go across the front, no doubt. Do do do. to go. Yeah, I like this level. This uh, campaign is kind of cool. It's quite different. Uh, it's not just a boring building. We've done a little bit of concreting, a little bit of pillar work, excavation, plumbing. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a fun little level. Four to go? Yeah, four, uh, three to go. Uh, where's this one going? Top right, I'm guessing. Yeah. Turn it so it's semi accurate. Uh, I think I might do the left hand side one first. Turn around. Oops. Went down when I meant to go up. And across the middle. It's quite a long way up, isn't it? That, uh, that top of the grain. It's probably a good five stories in the air. I assume these are, are these weight A or the weight B? So they are a little bit heavy. Rotate them around. Try to gently come down here. And then the lucky last, and then we'll move on to something else, I'm guessing. Something more probably concrete -y or planty or something. height versus swing correct. Not to break a window. Progress, 44%. All right. Hopefully, oh, it says dot, dot, dot. Uh, I probably need to move those things. Uh, moving the crane first was probably not the best choice.
Yeah, we may have to move those green and blue. So seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah, all those three. Uh... Yeah, so the blue and green are both up for grabs. So what I'm going to do, so it's, it's all of them, okay, so I get this out on the road, and I'll use the uh, crane to fix this situation, I should be able to open it here. Nope, it's in, in range. Oh well. Reach, reach, reach. Wherever this is, is where I'm going to drop it. Grab this one while we're here. Yeah, that, all that craning didn't really pan out as efficiently as I would like. Definitely, uh, if we had just done job based incremental deliveries. We probably would have been a lot better off. That's right, so those three dealt with. Just do a quick reset and that should make everything happy. So deliver it and spread sand. We can do that. I think our uh, small little dump truck is, yep, it's in the, uh, is that home base? Fair bit of sand too. We're going to start on this far side and work away this way. That was a slide, you see that? I should I get the right material? Construction map. Yeah, it may be worth getting the dozer out for this one. Just spread it around a bit. We'll see how it goes. Get this little corner here. in the way. Get another load. 
33%. So yeah, if we just do three stripes, I think we should be pretty good. Is it happy with the depth over there? No, it's not. It has to be quite thick. Yeah, it's more like, uh, it seems to be more like capacity than coverage. Camera angles are killing me with these trees. Sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy. Seventy-four. Based on, yeah, it's based on depth. It needs to be quite deep. Oh, I should have tipped it down a bit before I started doing that. A little bit wasteful. Oh well. Being like that, yeah. I'm gonna uh, get out a dozer. We'll get out the lead bar. I'm just gonna push things around left and right, and it should finish that off. I think uh, trying to. Uh, get it dumped where those red areas are is going to be a little bit problematic. Quickly do this while it's uh, the last hours of the day. Because well, it's the day it gets really dark at those very seconds. Yeah, I'm going to jump out. Let's do uh, morning. Do is just run right through the middle with this and see what happens. We can also squeeze some of this stuff that we spilt uh, into it. You may need to put more down. Uh, let's push it to the right. Still 94. Five. Yeah, it's hard to tell where it's actually needed at this point. Maybe over there on the left. Ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, one hundred. Yeah, I think uh, if we had tried to uh uh do it just by dropping dirt we would have ended up doing a lot more than that a lot a lot of loads i think uh it's in the dump truck what's gonna happen nice compact the sand we can do that. We have got a lot of equipment out in this job. There's our soil compactor. There it is. Yeah, it's using our entire arsenal of, uh, of equipment for sure.
way up to uh, percentage wise. We're we getting anywhere close. Fifty oh, percent. Yeah, it seems to be. Ooh, I wonder what else it is to do. So. Yeah, it's just, okay, that's a lot of stripes. We're just going to have to be very methodical about it. Uh, I might do up here first, just squeeze in this corner. Take a while, but I don't think it's going to be exorbitantly long. Maybe five, ten minutes, maybe. Uh, my plan is to do proper straight lines, and then I'll uh, I'll, just, I'll go backwards each time. So we'll just miss this last bit. Make sure we are getting like a, a proper overlap. This is one of those jobs that, in multiplayer, uh, much, much better. It's a lot of fun to have a lot of people just uh, racing around in two or three of these compactors at the same time. There's definitely a couple of scenarios where multiplayer uh, is just really fun. It's, it shines. Twenty-two percent. That's not bad. So maybe what was what two minutes maybe for twenty percent. Well, the light level in this corner is hard to make it. Does make it hard to read. I'm hoping that little stripe there can be skipped as far as the hundred percent is concerned. Part looks pretty good. Uh, once we get around that, uh, the circle bit it might slow us down a bit as we try to navigate it. Um, since this corner is kind of wonky, what I might do, I know I said I'd leave it, but I've got a feeling there's going to be other parts that are much uh, more difficult to ignore, so, or more to, to complete perfectly, so I'll just do a quick stripe this way. Those tr the trees in this level are super annoying. They seem to be always in the camera view. I should have missed it. Should I go back for that little stripe? back in here and go forward again. Thirty-six percent. It's not bad. Uh, I think I might actually start going around this way. We'll finish in the center. OK, 
kind of uh, repeat what we did the other side. Forty-three. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Question for you all: Do you uh, prefer this uh, soil compaction or asphalt? I think I prefer asphalt a lot more than doing soil and sand. Uh, it's like the you know that beautiful sheen you get off the off the asphalt. The actual asphalt paving, yeah, I can leave, leave it in the lab. I mean, I think that's more fun than laying down sand, but uh, it's still not in my you know, top things I like to do too much. You know, maybe once a month or so, just do a side contract with it. But I uh, can't say it's one of the things that I yearn to do. The shadows are making it pretty hard to see where the line is. Fifty percent, halfway there. I'm gonna actually twist here and get into the corner. Have to remember to leave with the butt facing this direction. The uh, dust particles are pretty cool. We've done a good job uh, of representing that. Alright, so let's uh, get back on our straight lines. Where is that line? Alright, it's back here a bit. Yeah, those uh, leaves, their shadows make it really hard to see. This is pretty good, 60%. Uh, I think next we should go maybe maybe back down here again. Yeah, we'll give this one more stripe and then we'll work out how to do the middle. I do want to try to do longer, straighter lines more than curves. Actually, across the front here might be a good next step. Yeah, we'll uh, go across here, I think. Keep going backwards, forwards, across here for a while. I think that's quite efficient. 65, 66, two thirds of the way there, that's not too bad. That's probably a narrow stripe there. Might zoom out so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. Making good progress now. 70%. Yeah, this is probably about the just the right area for this type of thing. Any any bigger, and it would be quite laborious, but uh, this is just right to kind of enjoy it for what it is for five, ten minutes. And then uh, and then it's finished. I need to uh, make sure I'm a bit more on the line. A tiny bit there on the corner I missed too. Seventy-five. I'm wondering if I should just do a quick 
quick U-turn here. I'm actually, yeah, I might do this way. I might go around and just do a stripe. Because driving forward is faster than uh, backing up and everything. Let's have a look at that graph. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, it's faster than doing new turns. And this way we can just go around at full speed and Never slow down. Eighty-eight. So as we keep on moving to the right, it adjusts for what we need to do on the U-turn here. So it works out quite well. Yeah, about a minute left, I reckon. Because we're getting nice, big, thick, white stripes this way. Now we're going to lose our efficiency in the next lap because we won't have uh, complete stripes to do. 95. There's a couple of small pieces hanging around, but I don't think that's going to matter. Yeah, I think it's been quite generous in its scoring. Excavate pit. Did we get rid of the excavator? I think we did. I think we sent it home. I think this guy. Uh, we can. We'll leave it on site for a while. Just park it here next to all his friends. Yeah, I think the excavator is one of the things we actually sent back home because it was kind of in the way when we were driving around. Bit of a drink. I didn't see how big the uh, uh, what the what the pit or what the excavation is. It says pit though. So it might be deep. Oh, I doubt it. It's probably just for. Well, this is probably for the trees. Look at the ones up here on the left first. Uh, do I want to put them into a truck? Uh, I think it's going to be a mix of material, so probably not. It is sand, and sand's worth a fortune, or more than dirt at least. So let's, uh, when the truck is here. That's actually quite a big hole to dig. Yeah, this is going to be worth a fair bit of money. Uh, 
Six and a half grand, can't complain about that. Pay for some of those fast travel uh, bills. So we should get like four times six grand, 25 grand. Ah, oh, finished. That was quite fast. Gonna uh, get some freebies. I mean, you could probably dig this entire sand field uh, and get a lot of money. Uh, so I'm gonna park probably to the either outside edge like I did before. Left one first. Fighting with camera angles here. All that camera movement, the game's doing it on your behalf. Um, um, but normally, what happens is when it, when I, the camera goes flying, is uh, my left stick when you you, you push it down um, to turn the mode on the right hand side. And this con Xbox controller has been used for so many hundreds of hours. Uh, the button has become very sensitive. It, um, the diaphragm that or the membrane that it hits is very easily pushed and so it takes the smallest of uh, of maneuvering on the stick for like left and right for example or up and down here uh, it's very easy for me to uh, cause that to trigger and then uh, the right stick is happily booming the uh, the bucket and the arm and then it its role changes to being uh, that of the camera position, and so uh, you know your, your vision goes flying, and so that's what causes that. Um, I will go around here. And, uh, this should be done pretty shortly. A big scoop in one scoop. Oh, that's dirt. Weird. Okay. Uh, okay, that was kind of weird. Um, right. uh, so, I think I actually might use. How am I going to do this? So there's some things right at the back. Alright. Check that out a bit. Um, these cars are definitely uh, being problematic. Yeah, this thing really wants a jackknife. I'm actually going to use... Actually, since the uh, excavator's on the other side, I'm going to... Oh, that was terrible. Uh, 
don't know, we should be able to use this to pick up. That's a plane. There we go. That worked out quite well. across the other side. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Actually, I might as well carry one if I'm going to race across. So we still have a lot of material on the truck, so that there is still a lot of things to do. I'm just going to do this at high speed. Nice. Uh, I could uh, move the truck, but I might as well just uh, have fun with the excavator here. across and done stage complete pallet of construction stuff well that's Looks like this is turning into the uh, excavator level. Looks like we've got like a big concrete type footing thing here. Should we do the rest for the excavator? It's probably going to be faster than uh, worrying about the crane. Actually, the, uh, this guy's got a crane on it, so at worst we can use that. Uh, I think I need to be on the other side. I need to be on the in here. Not to kill the tree we just planted. See now that YouTube is using an excavator for crane work. That's part of the fun of it, right? Uh, where's the spot where it's happy? There it is. Yeah. So we need to curl in. Uh, we'll do the 
close one. Oh, that was a bit disgusting, but we got there. And then we have to undo this uh, mess on the trailer. really don't want to dock back into the trailer. It's way over here. It's not really what I wanted, but... My brain is uh, struggling to understand what to do here. It's not my natural movement for the excavator. You know what? We got there. All right, so that's <laughs> all right. This is craning. Uh, this is uh, we can make can use this thing. Maybe. I mean, these things are not heavy, I don't believe. Yeah, they're all A's and this is a B. We probably should be using a normal crane, but... I don't know what the reach is going to be like for this. Definitely making some uh, unique content here because uh, this is not how you would normally do this type of thing. You'd have a big mobile crane doing it. Uh, I think there's some to the left here. Working quite well actually, it's not too slow. Five and fifteen. Should we use the excavator for some of these? Maybe. Oh, that's a... Okay, dominoes! Well, it kind of dictates the order that we're going to pick them up. Right, let's jump out and fix the time. Drink break. For anybody who's wondering, I'm having some orange juice. I think this is going to be close to our reach limit. There's no way this uh, crane would be able to pick up this much weight at that, at that distance. What's the, uh, what does the contract look like? 
All right, so we're making a big stepped plaza. Okay, so we're gonna probably crane in some uh, more stuff after this. Yeah, that shouldn't have been allowed. That was definitely uh, not really how it's meant to be done. The excavator was in the way and it was beyond the reach. See if uh, we can get this done with the excavator. Speed's good, I'll give it that. I'm kind of enjoying using these uh, non traditional lifting techniques. to get the two end step bits done first before we're allowed to do anything else. Going quite fast, actually. And now I think about it, this might be actually the tools I use for this type of job. Uh, I think the, it's time for this guy. Yeah. I could definitely picture them using an excavator for this. Finish these steps off and we'll call it the end of the episode. So we've got two more here. Uh, no, yeah, that'll be it for uh, well, at least this stage. We'll keep on going on and on and on. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, comment, all that cool stuff. Uh, we'll uh, endeavor to finish off these flower beds and whatever else all these uh, uh, materials are. I, I, is there anything left on the truck? Yeah, there is stuff left on the truck. So we've got some saplings to do. We've got these this blue thing, paving stones. So yeah, it's a bit, bit more work to do. And we'll do that next time. As always, thanks for watching.